Kashyap Kash Patel, a name now synonymous with the Trump era, boasts an origin story as unique as his career trajectory. Born in 1980 to Gujarati Indian parents in New York, Patel's life was shaped by his family's immigrant experience. His father, fleeing IDI, a means regime in Uganda, instilled in him a deep appreciation for America's opportunities. Growing up, Patel witnessed New York's elite while caddying, fueling his legal ambitions. Patel's academic journey led him to the University of Richmond and Pace University Law School. He chose to serve as a public defender in Florida, representing clients in serious criminal cases. In 2014, driven by a desire to serve his country, Patel moved to Washington, D.C. to work in counterterrorism at the Justice Department. Seeking a more impactful role, he joined the House Intelligence Committee under Republican Devin Nunes. As the investigation into Russian interference in the 2016 election unfolded, Patel found himself at the heart of the political storm. His efforts culminated in the controversial Nunes memo, bringing Patel into Trump's inner circle. Patel's ascent within the Trump administration was swift and controversial. He quickly gained the president's trust, translating into influential positions. He served on the National Security Council, shaping foreign policy, and held a senior counterterrorism role. Patel remained a staunch defender of the president, denouncing the Russia investigation as a hoax. His aggressive style earned him both admirers and detractors. As Trump's presidency ended, speculation arose about Patel's potential top position in the intelligence community. Reports suggested he was considered for roles like FBI director or CIA head. However, these plans faced resistance from within the intelligence community. The end of Trump's presidency did not diminish Patel's fervor or influence. He became a prominent voice in conservative media and a sought-after speaker at Republican events. Patel penned two books, a memoir and a children's book, both favorably portraying Trump. He promoted various products to Trump's loyal base, raising concerns about conflicts of interest. Patel remained a vocal critic of the Biden administration, echoing Trump's claims of a stolen election. He aligned with the figures like Michael Flynn, promoting conspiracy theories and unsubstantiated claims. Patel's loyalty to Trump has fueled speculation about his potential role in a second Trump administration. Many believe he could head a major intelligence agency like the CIA. Patel has called for a radical overhaul of these agencies, viewing them as anti-Trump. Central to his reforms is reducing the power and scope of the FBI and Justice Department. He views these agencies as deep state bastions more interested in protecting their power. Patel has also advocated for greater scrutiny of government leaks, proposing measures to prosecute officials who share classified information. Patel's potential return to power under a second Trump administration has sparked apprehension. Critics point to his lack of experience in senior intelligence roles and his history of promoting unsubstantiated claims. They argue his aggressive style and partisan lens are ill-suited for intelligence work. Patel's history of making unsubstantiated claims raises concerns about his judgment. His role in promoting the Nunes memo, later contradicted by a DOJ report, is often cited as prioritizing partisan goals over truth. Critics worry about his ability to manage large, complex organizations like the CIA or FBI. Kashyap Kash Patel remains a figure of considerable controversy. Supporters view him as a fearless patriot, unafraid to challenge the status quo. They admire his loyalty to Trump and his willingness to take on the deep state. Detractors see him as a dangerous demagogue, prioritizing loyalty to Trump over truth and rule of law. They worry his partisan politics and conspiracy theories threaten American democracy. Whether Patel returns to power remains to be seen, but his story is far from over.